Hello, 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 Jekyll here, and welcome to the first actual video of 2020. This is a special episode of Yu Gi Oh! Engineering because I'm going to talk about two engines that can be useful with the new Master Rule coming to the game in April. One, it's rather obvious, while the other is not. If anything, I hope you get to learn something from this and get some decent deck ideas. Anyway, let's get started. The first engine I'd like to talk about is a synchro focus one. It's the Inca engine. This engine is actually made of two parts, the Ascato engine and the Supe engine. Both are viable ways of synchro summoning monsters, level 8 for Ascato and level 8 for Supe. The Ascato engine focuses on using Ascato Dawnwalker's effect to summon itself from the hand and fetch Fire and Ascato from the deck. Since Dawnwalker is a level 5 monster and Fire and Ascato is a level 3 tuna, this engine can easily provide a level 8 synchro material. Materials. Both cards are accessible in Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny, so the engine is not too hard to get your hands on. When it comes to the Supe variant, it works on the same principle, using Supe Duskwalker, which is similar to Dawnwalker but it fetches Supe, a level 1 of Tuna. Both engines can also be used as tribute fodder since they provide two monsters on the field for some big tribute summon plays. When it comes to the build of the engine, well, that's a different story. There is no data on it, since the effect of Duskwalker and Dawnwalker locks the player into Synchro Summons for the turn, making the engine pretty much useless of Master Rule 4. However, starting April 2020, this might change. What I'm going to provide is my personal opinion, so please take note of that. Since the effects of Supe and Fire and Ascato are irrelevant, the build can be similar to the good old Gem Knight engine. With three walkers and one or two corresponding tuners, I think that this can provide some decent synchro support for a deck. When it comes to usage, I propose some synchro focus decks like Red Dragon Archfiend, Synchrons, well, if you want, maybe Buster Blader. And from the top of my head, I can also think of Cyframes to have easier access to Omega. The other engine I'd like to talk about is one that was meta at one point in time and was shoved to the side due to the link monsters not helping with Xyz spamming. Yes, this is an Xyz focused engine. And it is, I guess, a player's favorite. Clown Blade. I don't think this engine needs a great deal of introduction, so I'll quickly go over the way it's working. The basic premise is to abuse the effect of heroic challenger Thousand Blades. His effect allows him once per turn to special summon himself from the graveyard upon the owner taking damage. The abuse comes from the player using level 4 monsters that deal self-harm, so the Thousand Blades can be activated. The most prominent way of doing that is by the effect of performing Trick Cloud, and that's where the engine gets its namesake. The build of this engine is straightforward. All one needs is one copy of Trick Clown, one copy of Thousand Blades, and ways to send them to the graveyard. Some people also like to use one copy of Blackwing Sephiroth's The Elite, due to its own ability to deal self damage and trigger Thousand Blades. Since the focus of the engine are rank 4 Xyz plays, it can be played in almost everything and was, at one point in time, a prominent meta contender. Therefore, if you're interested in making rank 4 plays all day, this is something you might look into. And that would be it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to leave a comment or like. I hope to see you later on Twitch, when I'll do some dueling shenanigans. Bye bye!